Roblox has been around for a very long time. It is one of the largest user-generated online game platform out there, having millions of players playing each day and growing larger every year. It's safe to say that Roblox has become a successful platform, having millions of games to play and having the ability to make your own games. Since Roblox is a platform, it has lasted for a very long time. Over the years, developers kept on making games to keep the game alive and enjoyable. So today, let's talk about Roblox. Let's talk about how it started and how it became a success. Let's talk about the history of Roblox. Since we're talking about Roblox history, let's start from the beginning. Everything started on June 19, 1989. On 1989, Interactive Physics, a STEM physics software, is released by Knowledge Revolution, which was founded by David Bazuki. Back then, Nintendo just launched the Game Boy along with the smash hit Tetris. Its purpose was to teach students about physics in a 2D space. It would become an influence on the creation of Roblox. Interactive Physics was later sold to MSC Software in January 1999 for $20 million. In 2002, the year after Windows XP was released, one of the first Roblox models was made like a basic polygon sword texture. The same year, David got an idea to make a game similar to interactive physics, but in 3D. The problem was how boxes are going to be connected. To end this problem, Bazuki decided to use a Lego brick arranging system, making a Lego looking like game. The game was called GoBlox. At the near end of 2003, GoBlox domain was registered, and the website was created. Roblox went through a few names before finally getting its official name. And the name was Roblox, and they got it in 2004. On June 30, 2004, the first user joins Roblox, also known as Admin. Admin was a test account for the banning system, and they later deleted it in 2006. In September 2004, Roblox finally enters alpha mode. Then there's the year 2006. The first Roblox employee was John Shedleski, who joined on the 21st of June of 2006. On July 22nd, first Roblox video was made demonstrating bomb item. Then on October 27th, the first Roblox YouTube video was uploaded by John. Then the game named Crossroads was released on the 1st of December. Then on December 11th, Roblox reaches 10,000 registered users. On December 22, Roblox badges first appear. Now it's the year 2007, the year of rapid changes. The original currency Roblox points could be earned by logging in daily or by playing minigames. In March 2007, Roblox became compliant with COPPA with the addition of Safe Chat, a chat mode which limited users under the age of 13 to communicating by selecting predefined messages from a menu. On January 12th, the first type of clothing got released, which was t-shirts. T-shirts were simple decals that can be put on the front part of the Robloxian's torso. February was an important month for Roblox. Roblox site's servers got faster, and copy lock was inverted, which meant nobody could steal your games anymore. On April 1st, aka April Fool's Day, 
Roblox made a joke about Google purchasing them. On May 1st, spas were added. That same month, hats were added to Roblox, along with virtual currency, Robux. Tickets, or ticks, were added on August of the same year, along with Builders Club. On December 2007, spawn shields were introduced to prevent spawn killing. Now it's time to talk about 2008. On January 20 to the end of January, the Builderman Place Design Contest takes place. Roblox now allows players to purchase Builders Club with PayPal. On all of March, the Egg Hunt 2008 takes place. On April 2, places and models now appear in your My Stuff page and in the catalog. Comments on places are released. Users can verify their account by linking it to their email address. On April 24, fully body shirts and pants are released. The previous torso only shirts are renamed to t-shirts to pre prevent confusion. A new character creation page is released. Users can now favorite places, models, and clothing. New lighting is released. The moderation system is enhanced and the Roblox news feed is featured on the front page. On May 14, decals are added, so you can add them to blocks for texture. On December 18, heads are added, so you can change the different look of your head so not everyone's is the same. Now 2008 is done, let's move on to 2009. On January 6, Roblox releases a survey to get to know their community more. On April 1st, 37,000 free purple mystery boxes which contain a rubber duck are given away to celebrate April Fools. On May 5, vehicle seats are added. On June 18, Turbo Builders Club was added, which would give you more Robux daily than the regular Builders Club. On August 13, lots of updates happened. User made badges were added, more group depending on the level of Builders Club you have, group search, owner transferring, and status updates for groups. Then on September 1st, off-game chatting was added. Then on September 14, John Shedlesky gets interviewed. The person asks him, how old were you when you started Roblox and how long have you been involved? He said, I joined Roblox straight out of college when I was 23. I had been involved in the project for three years, almost from the beginning. The person also asks him, were there other people involved in the coming up with the game? David Bazuki and Eric Castle spent a while developing Roblox when I joined up. They made a lot of the early design choices. We have a team of extremely creative developers who have all their influence on the game. They also ask him, did you start on another program or start it from scratch? He said, Roblox is built from scratch. They also ask, how does the team come up with ideas? What inspires you? He said, I used to have a lot of construction toys growing up. There's a cool game called Brick Wars that I used to play a lot as a kid. That's one of my main sources of inspirations for Roblox. Our developers are into board games, toys, video games, slash PC games, model rockets, making stuff, you name it. The core idea, however, was always about letting people create their worlds, so maybe that is the root inspiration. They also say, how long did it take to create Roblox? Roblox has been a work in progress for more than four years. I doubt it would ever be done. They also ask him, how often do you work on Roblox to fix bugs slash problems? And he says, every day. How did you come up with the name for your game for virtual money? He says, David Bazuki came up with the name Roblox. I think it is supposed to invoke both robots and blocks. Another name that was considered was Dynablox. I came up with Robux. It's a pun on Roblox and Bucks. Who do you think would play your game? Children? Adults? We expected that most of our players would be kids aged 7 through 15. But we also think that idea of building your own world has broad appeal outside that age range. How did you come up with the idea for Builders Club? The business plan from the beginning was always to make Roblox free and sell a premium service to users who wanted more features. Roblox is mainly about building, so Builders Club made a lot of sense. Did you start with the 3D program or did you come up with your own? While I have been here, we reworked the 3D engine twice. Each time we started with existing code that we then heavily modified to suit our needs. How did you start to design? By drawing on paper? David and Eric started an idea of what they wanted the game to look like. I then just dove in and started to tinker. We've gone through a lot of rough drafts. Is Roblox what you planned for it to be? 
did it change as you were creating it? Roblox is always changing. We have general goals or things that we would like to see added to the game. However, a lot of stuff we work on is direct result of player feedback. The project has a life of its own. What college did you go to or what classes did you take to learn how? I've been writing computer games since I was 8, so I guess experience is the best teacher. I got my degrees at Stanford University and took a lot of classes that involved computer programming. Those helped too. What kind of things were you interested in studying? I studied biology, classical literature, and computer science. How much education did you need to invent Roblox? Creating a game like Roblox is complicated. You need technical skills, being able to program, and being able to design a working system. But you also need creative skills. You have to be able to envision a game that would be fun, make it look good, anticipate problems before they happen, etc. What classes did you take in school that best prepare you for making your invention? Probably introduction to algorithms. That stuff is pretty fundamental for programmers. Then on October 5th, limited and unique items are added. On October 14th, group ranks are added, which means you can change the group ranks to anything so you don't have just owner, admin, and member. Then on October 28th, OBC is added and the new site design is being tested. Then on November 26th, bubble chat is added. Back then looked like this. Now we move on to 2010. On January 24th, sets are added. On May 14th, Roblox introduced its first package, Robloxian 2.0. If you forgot what it looks like, it looks like this. On October 1, Roblox gift cards are available at 7-Eleven. October 31, Roblox gift cards are available at Best Buy and GameStop. Now it's time to move from 2010 to 2011. February 3 of 2011, groups can now advertise themselves. April 8, group owners can become allies and enemies with other groups. May 5, players can now see their favorite places on the game page. On June 16, the Roblox Rally is announced. On July 18th, Roblox's first television commercial is made and launched. It was the commercial with this at the end. Roblox! It's free! The first convention was held at San Francisco, California on August 1, 2011. It was called the Roblox Rally 2011. Players who attended the event received a free lunch as well as a poster, a t-shirt, a water bottle, and a land yard. The purpose of the conference was for players to meet up with others to discuss about Roblox, ask questions to the Roblox staff, and find about future updates to the game. One of the most notorious updates that was discussed at the Roblox Rally 2011 was the new Roblox Terrain. On September 26, Roblox releases their first toy, which are some building blocks that spell Roblox. They're not the ones that you see today in the stores. They actually looked like this back then, but not a lot of people know that there used to be building blocks. Remember when I was talking about the Roblox Rally, how they had a big update for Roblox Terrain? Well, on October 7th, Terrain Generation is finally released, but it's not the terrain you see around today. So what I'm trying to say is the terrain you see nowadays can be like generated, but smoother, and it's not as blocky as like grass, mountains, but the older one looked like this. What is cool about this terrain is you can take like planes and have rockets on them and then like blast through mountains which is pretty cool. On December 9, Sword Fight on Heights becomes Builder Club only. This caused protests from the Roblox community and suggestions and ideas form was filled with players telling Roblox to undo the update. Now it is time for 2012. On January 21, Roblox games can now be played on more internet browsers. On January 26, video thumbnails are shown on the blog on roblox.com. Here's a screenshot of what they used to look like back then. On March 19th, Roblox improves their network physics. Then it comes to April Fool's 2012 Roblox. April 1, on April Fool's, the catalog and the trade currency system became disabled. Roblox became temporarily shut down. People also changed the price of some items in the catalog. Bryguy9876 said that this April Fool's prank wasn't a prank by Roblox. Even though Roblox does April Fool's pranks, every April Fool's but not as bad as this. On May 8 through 10, users who created a new Roblox account upon logging in, the red Roblox cap is nowhere to be in their inventory. 
This might have been a glitch in the Roblox system or an idea in which they decided to remove the hat from the user's profile that changed their mind. On May 18th, the trade system is nearing completion. This would be big for people who like items their friend have so then they can trade it. Here's a screenshot of what the old trading system looked like. On July 12th, the trading system is added. Then the second conference happens. The convention was named Roblox Game Conference 2012. Players who attended the event received a poster and a lanyard, plus extra items if they purchased tickets before certain dates. At the conference, players could meet each other in real life, share ideas about Roblox and to other users, as well as Roblox staff, and find out about some of Roblox's plans for the future. There were several conferences at the convention about future updates to Roblox as well as the user feedback, multiple awards were given in specific categories. And that's basically what happened at the 2012 convention. On September 15, Roblox releases the first game template which is Capture the Flag. Game templates are basically small games that are already made for you and you can add whatever you want to it. On September 17, game passes are created. On September 18, Time puts Roblox on one of the 50 best sites of 2012. And on the list, they're at 37. I don't know if that means anything if they're on top 37. And the website Time also describes what Roblox is. Kids ages 8 and way way up spend 21 million hours a month in the Roblox universe. It's a massively multiplayer online game where friends can meet, collaborate, chat, and compete. Everything has a Lego look like look. So even fierce battles are cute. And the best part is that players can construct their own game and worlds using a surprisingly sophisticated toolkit. It's okay to call it a junior sized counterpart to Minecraft as long as you know that Roblox came first. On October 8, players can now allow and sell specific gear on their game page. And this is for all the Roblox tablet users out there on Roblox. On October 19, Roblox for iPad is first announced. Also, the starter place was changed from the happy home to a light gray base plate. The first user to start with this place was Titanic15474. It was changed once again a few months later. It is still available as a place template, except the base plate is darker and is thicker. October 23, Roblox releases three game templates, control points, free for all, and team deathmatch. November 14, 100,000 users play Roblox at the same time. Also, Roblox updates the chat list and the backpack. The new chat list was criticized due to the words being glitched on the chat list. The backpack receives a minor revamp with arrow button instead of the backpack button was located the near of the health bar. An in-game backpack GUI was not separated. It was located in the arrow button. When they clicked on the arrow button, opens up and closes down. On December 6, users can now trade Robux with the trade system. On December 11, the iBot is created. iBot is the iOS exclusive bundle that was purchased into the avatar shop by Roblox on December 11, 2012. It could have been purchased for 0.99 cents in the Roblox mobile app on iOS devices before it went off sale as of May 28, 2020. It has been redeemed 6,374 times and favorited 812 times. Now it's time for 2013. To start off the year, they did a contest for a Roblox Studio splash screen and it begins on January 10th. So actually Roblox has a blog talking about it and they have all the winners. It's not only one winner, but it was a couple winners. Throughout the year they changed it to different ones. I'm gonna show you all 10 of them. So those were the 10 winners, there was 3,000 submissions and all 10 winners got 20,000 Robux. On January 22, Roblox announces support of vehicles and chat on all devices using 
Roblox Mobile. On January 24, Roblox encourages users to suggest locations for the 2013 Roblox Game Conference. On February 2, Roblox Studio 2013 is released. On March 1, three contests begin. The Fan Art Contest, the Roblox Face Creation Contest, and the Egg Retexture Contest. On March 8, RGC 2013 is renamed to BloxCon. On June 12, the Roblox catalog glitches, making most common hats on Roblox one ticket. That means you could get 10 hats if you have 0 Robux and just got your daily bonus of 10 ticks. Merely confirmed that this was just a bug and was going to be fixed soon. On September 21, Virtual BloxCon goes live from 9am to 3pm. The Roblox Blocks Con 2013 was the first convention held outside of California. Three different conventions were hosted at separate dates in, in three cities. A final convention, the Virtual Blocks Con 2013 was announced in June and held online on September 21, 2013 for all players who could not attend one of the previous conventions. On September 25, UserMade Audio is introduced, receiving positive reviews. On October 22, Roblox gives users the ability to change their names for 1,000 Robux. This was useful for players who wanted to keep their main account so they didn't have to make a new account just because they didn't like their username. On October 28, the studs get changed into a Roblox R. On December 7, the first ever BloxCast is streamed on Roblox's YouTube channel at 10 a.m. What they do at BloxCast is mostly answer Q&As and they used to do monthly uploads of it. Now it's time to move from 2013 to 2014. On January 15, users can now upload audio up to 120 seconds which you can also call 2 minutes, for only 100 Robux. On January 31, the Roblox 2014 Winter Games begin. On February 8, Roblox launches their Twitch channel with a 3 hour live streams. Roblox would advertise their Twitch streams at some point in time by putting an orange box on the Roblox homepage. On April 4, the 2014 Blox Awards are introduced, also known as the Virtual BloxCon 2014. On April 15, player points are announced which are given when someone spends Robux. A new health bar has been introduced as well. On April 25, player points are reset. On May 1, the Gamer 101 becomes the first game developer to cash out 10,000 US dollars. On May 14, John Shaleski officially announces that he will stop working full time at Roblox. On May 23, voting for the 2014 Hall of Fame awards open. On June 7, Roblox Lego Ideas Building Contest begins. On June 21, the Virtual Blocks Con 2014 event takes place. On June 23, players are no longer to buy, sell player points as a currency. On July 16, Roblox Mobile is released for Android, but only for the US and Canada. On July 25, improved camera and controls are added to Roblox Mobile. Remember when I was talking about the Roblox Ideas contest for LEGO? Well, on July 31, they announced the winners, and I'm going to show you the pitchers who won. On October 11, a new loading screen for places is added, but then taken down 12 days later due to a possible negative reception. They later fixed that on November 10. On December 17, the homepage is updated. Here comes 2015 with a mega update to start the year off. On January 7, the player list receives a major revamp, with the background being more transparent, the font being replaced with Source Sans Light the player's names and the player's own username above the list and the list itself being smaller in size, and the lines between the player's names being thinner. Also, the button used to hide the list was removed. Players will now need to simply click the area with their username in it to hide the part of the list. Also, Backpack receives a revamp too. Due to their buttons were updated, Roblox also releases fog for players with their graphics quality settings set to 7 or higher. On February 4th, friends lists are changed to followers following lists, and best friends are changed to friends as part of the friends and followers update. In 2015, three conferences took place in San Francisco, Atlanta, and Europe. The first conference, RDC West, was hosted in San Francisco from March 6th to March 8th. The second conference was RDC East, 
while the third, RDC Europe, only users who have been invited could attend the events. Most of the real-life events after this point are mostly Roblox developer conferences. On June 3, new players began starting with places of smooth terrain. The first user to start with this place is Freddy Bear 246 August 5 through 6, months and lifetime options for Builders Club, Turbo Builders Club, and Outrageous Builders Club are removed. On November 15, bricks are updated. It's now time for 2016. On January 18, Roblox releases a concept for their new avatar design. After people not liking the idea at all, Roblox was forced to head back to the drawing board and create something else. On February 9, Roblox comes up with R15, a new avatar design similar to Roblox's current avatar, the R6. This version of the character brings more parts and hinges to Roblox standard 6-part character, thus allowing more parts of the character to be animated. Basically, instead of 6 parts, you have 15 parts. Later, Roblox would come up with animations for R15, but we'll go to that later. On February 17, Roblox gets a new character look, and many glitches are present on that day, such as no animations, not spawning with packages and hats, spawning as a noob, those glitches were later fixed. On February 24, the ability to use underscrolls and users, which was removed in 2007, is re-added again. On March 15, Roblox announces that tickets will be removed, which made a lot of criticism from the community. On April 1, Roblox said that they'll be releasing Roblox on the Sega Genesis, but it turned out to be an April Fool's joke. They also did a joke on our games review that they said if you climb up all the 10 million stairs that you would get super admin on Roblox. Reaching the goal would cause a GUI to pop up and say April Fools. On April 6, Roblox celebrates their 10th anniversary. On April 14, tickets are removed by Roblox. Remaining ticks were not converted to Robux. On April 22, Roblox is released on the Oculus Rift, which if you don't know is a VR set. On May 24, Roblox now releases their app in the Windows Store. On August 5, the first Roblox developer conference is held on Twitch. On September 26, players can now switch between R6 and R15 on the avatar page. Also, Roblox introduces two-step verification, and users can now upload up to six minutes of audio, and the pricing system is changed again. On October 27, Roblox officially removes build mode for good. They had to announce this on their blog. The Bloxy Awards 2016 finalist list is open, and people can now nominate for their favorite finalists. On November 30, hats are now called accessories. Accessories are broken down into various categories such as hair, shoulder, item, hat, and back item. Now it's time for 2017. On January 1, Roblox disconnects the terrain that they showed at the 2011 game conference. On January 10, Roblox changes its logo to the red Roblox logo, which I have on screen right now. On January 16, the health bar has been changed and the health bar above the name tag disappears when the player has full health and it appears when the player gets damaged. Roblox takes off sale many of the older heads except for Roundy, Trim, and releases three new heads, Chiseled, Paragon, and Strongjaw. Two new faces, Friendly Smile and Winning Smile, were released despite criticism from the community. On January 19, animation packs for R15 are released. These being Zombie, Stylish, Superhero, Robot, and Levitation. On February 4, Dude 1 is the first user to hit 300 million place visits. On February 17, Roblox purchases might be delayed. Users under 13 can't see numbers anymore. On March 25, Roblox removes the tilted O from the studs. On April 1, no special April Fool's events is held by Roblox. On April 21, Asimo 3089 and Bad CC's Jailbreak officially enters beta and is released to the public. It has since stood on the test of time and is still on the front page today. On May 1, the forms are raided by a Twitch username QuackityHQ. He commands his fans to raid the Roblox forum in act of revenge against Roblox moderators for IP banning him. The forums being closed later that year. On May 3, Roblox removes the two-year limit allowing all users to post on the forums once more. On June 22, the loading screen is revamped with a different thumbnail for a short period of time. This time, instead of loading, the Roblox icon replaces it. The Roblox icon spins around until loading is finished. On July 19, the ability to move around with WASD keys was removed temporarily for unknown reasons, causing outrage in the forums. On October 2, guest mode is removed on Roblox PC, Mac, phone, tablet, and Xbox One, leading protests on the forum to occur. 
However, it is still available on the mobile version of the game at that time. On October 26, Roblox removes the genre list on the game's page, causing outrage in the forums. On November 4, Roblox re-adds guests by mistake. It was removed again one day later. On December 4, Roblox announces that they'll be removing the forum due to it getting raided. The forums are all locked and became read-only. December 12, the forms are removed from the website a day after its scheduled date. The forms icon is also removed from the menu bar on the left side, causing outrage within the Roblox community. Now it's time to move on to 2018. On January 30, Meep City becomes the first game in Roblox history to hit 1 billion place visits. On February 13, active and inactive games are renamed to public and private places. On February 26, Roblox's YouTube channel hits 1 million subscribers and there was a limited time promo code exclamation mark 1 million club exclamation mark which would get you a red dino hat which you can't get anymore. On March 3, Jailbreak becomes the second game in Roblox history to hit 1 billion visits and the first game to reach 1 billion visits in under a year. On March 22 or 23, Shift Lock was fixed. On June 15, Roblox creates the Roblox Video Stars program that grants family-friendly YouTubers a free exclusive hat and a free one-year Outrageous Builders Club. On June 18, Roblox adds a system to delete all copyrighted audios from the library. On July 10, Roblox adds a star symbol for users who are in the Video Creators program. On August 27, Roblox announces the platform's 12th birthday and publishes a promotional hat to accompany the 12th birthday cake hat. On October 15, packages are renamed to bundles. On October 23, the first Arthro bundle, Knights of Red Cliff, as well as an Arthro animation pack is released. On November 1, Roblox changes their logo from red to black, then hours later changed it to black to white. And this is what it looks like on the screen right now. And this is what it looks like to this day. December 25, every Roblox user no longer delete official Roblox items from their inventory. Now it's time for 2019. On January 18, a post on the Roblox blog is posted regarding the 6th annual Bloxy Awards event. It talked about when the Bloxies were going to happen and you could visit the stadium today, with a link sent into the game on the blog post. On January 21, a glitch occurs in which all users with Builders Club or Outrageous Builders Club membership had their membership icons changed to TBC, which is Turbo Builders Club. Some of the users received a TBC hard hat for free. The glitch was fixed five hours after it being discovered. On March 20, Prison Life reaches 1 billion visits. On March 27, the X, Y, and Z axis in Roblox Studio is moved to the top right of the studio viewport. On August 2, it is announced on a Roblox blog post that 100 million users play Roblox monthly. On August 10, Builders Club is replaced with Premium. On October 25, tickets are removed from player purchase history. They were instead replaced with Robux, even if the item was not purchased with Robux. On December 4, the catalog button is renamed to Avatar Shop. Shop also gets renamed to Merchandise, unknown reason. The page itself is displayed as catalog. On December 14, star program members are given access to UGC. Work at a pizza place reaches 2 billion visits. Non-premium users can now join up to 100 groups. Now it's time to move on to 2020. In 2020, people said that Roblox was shutting down. So on January 15, Roblox officially confirms on a Twitter post that the rumors of Roblox shutting down is fake and they tell how they are not shutting down. On January 30, the sidebar icons on the website are changed. On February 14, Roblox opens intern applications for the summer of 2020. On February 19, the 7 Bloxy Awards are announced, which is a topic I did two videos on, first one being my most popular video. On February 29, Roblox begins testing a new feature live. The feature is called Roblox Video Streaming, and there is a game, and there is a game dedicated to testing it. On March 7th through 12, players experienced issues joining games. This caused the front page to become featured with random games and incorrect player counts. The issue was resolved an hour later. On March 20, 7th Bloxy Award game opens, making the beginning of the event. On March 21, 7th Bloxy Awards live stream begins in game at 10 p.m. PST. That's 3 p.m. Eastern Time. On March 31, premium payouts are tripled. On April 1, all users, regardless if they're premium member or not, are now given 30% marketplace fee on sold game passes and developer products. On April 4, Jailbreak becomes the first game to beat 
Adopt Me since June 15, 2019. On June 12, Arsenal becomes the 18th game to surpass 1 billion plays visits. On June 28, Adopt Me becomes the first game to surpass 9 billion plays visits. Now you saw most of the history of Roblox. Building a platform this big is an amazing achievement. I can't see Roblox dying yet. This has been the history of Roblox. Thanks for watching.